a lot of people will say things like, I want to be an artist, but why should I bother trying if no one wants to buy it? Or why should I write and send newsletters when people immediately unsubscribe? Why should I post my art on Instagram when no one cares? There's so much artwork out there that the stuff that I do is really just a tiny drop in a gigantic, painty ocean. Like, I'm pretty sure even the biggest artists feel this way sometimes. I'm pretty sure. For example, um, when YouTube demonetized every channel that didn't meet their new threshold, uh, people were understandably upset. Like, even though it really didn't make a huge difference monetarily, it still sucks when something is taken from you while you're working really, really hard to meet this moving goalpost. It upset people. And there were a lot of moral police that would say, if you're motivated by money, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, everyone knows that people take up skilled hobbies for a reason. I'm not going to sit here and preach that artists should just enjoy the process while the world gets to consume our work for free. No one needs that kind of reminder. It's pretty normal to be motivated by external rewards. It really is. I mean, think about it. How many people would continue to work at their day jobs after their employer stops paying them? I think everyone has these thoughts and it's really not that big of a deal. I'm kind of feeling similarly about social media lately. Um, I know that I should probably post things on Instagram regularly or tweet something. <laughs> it doesn't help that Facebook bothers me endlessly about my inactivity. It's always sending me messages like, you haven't posted in this many days, even though I did. Or, you know, this many people are waiting for you to post something. You know, it kind of makes you feel <laughs> inadequate and it's really annoying. But for me, uh, the thing about that voice that tells you that no one cares if you post your art um, is that, well, maybe then I shouldn't worry about it. I'll just be over here working on stuff that does still interest me until that other stuff starts to be interesting again. Because I know that I will eventually start posting things and putting more effort into videos and, and painting actual paintings. I know that I will eventually do it because if I gave up, if I stopped wanting to make YouTube videos because my channel isn't growing fast enough or at all, if I stopped making art because it can't support me financially and it's too much of a downer, the alternative is that there's going to be a huge empty chunk of my life in which I'm doing nothing. Nothing. And yeah, there are some days where my body and my mind would really rather me just not do anything. <laughs> And I am privileged in that I do get a regular paycheck for my day job. That's what that's for. Um, so if that whole, um, you have to be motivated to make your art because otherwise you don't get paid pieces of advice that is everywhere doesn't work for you because you don't get paid <laughs> and that in itself is not very motivating. I just hope that you're able to recognize whether you're tempted to give up because it's no longer for you or if you're just punishing yourself for struggling so much. Anyway, I am painting a cat. And this is a little painting, five inches by five inches. And I modeled this cat after our neighbor's cat who we see outside a lot. He is incredibly fat <laughs> and he's very cute. And this little painting is actually based on a dream I had where I had this huge um, emperor moth crawling along the floor in my bedroom and so I picked it up. But when I picked it up, because it was a dream, it turned into a chubby little cat with wings. <laughs> emperor and moth wings. So I just decided to paint it because why not, <laughs> right? What was the point of painting this? Um, Cause I could, because I, 
because I commit myself to creating something at least once a week because I work really well with deadlines and when I have a weekly or semi-weekly deadline it actually really works for me and motivates me to go and that is the point that is why I paint things and that's not always motivating but again it's easy to motivate yourself when you consider the other option which is nothing or maybe it's just time to do something else there <laughs> anyway thanks for watching this rambly video i will see you in the next one